Hey everyone, Dan here, and I'm super excited to be with you all today, and thank you all for watching. And before we get started, please, if you like what we're doing here on the show, please subscribe, please like, and enter any comments below. We'd love to hear from our listeners, listeners and know what they're thinking about how we're doing. So with that being said, how's it going, everybody? I'm Dan Higgins, and welcome to Astroworld. So welcome back to the show, and today we're going to be taking a pretty hard look at the differences between the ASI Air Mini, which I haven't unboxed yet, and the ASI Air Plus. Been hearing a couple things, been seeing a lot of differences, so let's get down to it and rack them out and see what the difference is between one and the other. First, let's unbox this Mini and see what's in here. Okay, so let's get this guy out of here. They changed the packaging. It's pretty nice. They're nice. They're slim line. Even the ASI Plus, ASI Air Plus has the new box. It kind of slides out here. Um, you have your mini. It actually comes with a instruction guide, version 1.1. And even though it's in English and Chinese, and it also has a link to the app store to get more instructions. But look at how small this got. Oh my God. This thing is tiny, oh my goodness. I can't believe how small this is. ASI Air Mini, look at that. There we go, put that there. And it comes, uh, look at the antenna. The antenna's a little different. It looks like it's a little uh, little bit more heavy duty uh, than the uh, ASI Air Plus. That's pretty cool. And that's it on that side. What's on this side? This is probably just cables and stuff. Comes with a nice piece of tape, which is annoying since everything's wrapped, but okay. Yeah, all, all your power cables and everything are in here. So you got a bunch of 2.1 cables, one, two, three, four, and one extension. So you got four and one extension for your power, and that's it, that's all there is to the box. First, let's take a look at the size. As you can see, the ASI Air Mini is quite smaller than the ASI Air Plus. Some of the reasons for this is a smaller form factor of motherboard, no ethernet port, and no power button. Let's go over some of the differences regarding the Plus and the Mini. The first thing that you recognize on this side is that you'll notice that there's no power button on the Mini as there is on the Plus. Once you plug in the Mini, it automatically turns on and starts to boot up, whereas on the Plus, you have to turn it on. You'll notice something different here between the Plus and the Mini, but don't be scared. The Mini looks like it only has two DC 12 volt outputs, but it has two on the other side. So it does have the four DC 12 volt outputs. It also has the DSLR snap port available as well. So the only difference is that the Mini has the 12 volt outputs, two on one side and two on the other. Okay, on this side we have the Plus, you have the SD card slot where you could use that to upgrade your storage capacity, followed by the PC USB-C port where you could use to connect your computer. Both the Mini and the Plus has this port. Unfortunately, you cannot use a USB-C thumb drive to upgrade your capacity on the Mini. However, you can use a USB 2.0 drive, uh, your regular USB drive, and you can use that to upgrade your storage on the Mini if you need it because it does get recognized uh, as a drive and it will switch over to a USB drive. So that's pretty cool. If you only need uh, three ports to run your peripherals, then you have one more extra for a thumb drive. And on the final side, you do see that you have uh, four ports each on the Mini and the Plus. The Plus has actually two 3.0 ports and two 2.0 whereas the Mini has four 2.0 ports. There's also something missing on the Mini where it is a line in for your uh, ethernet in for your Cat5 cable for uh, hardwiring to the internet. So uh, one of the things that is missing on the Mini. Okay, well let's see how long it takes the ASI Air Plus to boot up. Ready? Go. Okay. 
Now let's go on to the ASI Air Mini. Okay, now let's see how long it takes the ASI Air Mini to, to load up, but because it doesn't have a on off switch, uh, we're just gonna have to plug it in and uh, So it seems that the ASI Air Mini has a little bit of an advantage on the boot up time, about 13 seconds or so. And uh, that's really not surprising considering the, uh, the less features that it has on it. So uh, what I really want to know is the Wi-Fi. Now, I've been using the ASI Air since the original white box, as many of you have. And the, the bane of the ZWO ASI Air's existence has been the Wi-Fi in one box or another. Um, at one point before that I think I believe it was the pro had no antenna outside of the box and there were hacks all over the internet that were putting antennas on it so they came out with one with an antenna which is a little faster but I'm curious to see because I've been seeing reports about the ASI Air Mini's Wi-Fi actually being better than the ASI Air Plus so let's take it to a real field example go into the backyard and see how strong one Wi-Fi is against another. I'm really curious to see about that. Okay, so I have the ASI Air Plus here booted up and ready to go. What I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to log on to the ASI Air and see uh, what's going on as far as when the signal drops off. And I'll tell you right now that I just did it with the ASI Air Plus and I'm going to turn the camera around. And so right about, right about here is where the, um, the internet kind of starts dropping off, um, right by my door uh, inside, which is about 50 feet away. Uh, that's where it becomes almost unusable. So. Uh, inside the house, forget the Wi-Fi, it's, it's crazy. So that, that's not gonna happen. But um, the Wi-Fi from here, and that's where my pier is. So we're talking about 55 feet. I can't go inside unless I hardwire it. But that's just a test of the Wi-Fi on the ASI Air Plus. Okay, so I got the ASI Air Mini plugged in and uh, I'm in, no problem, uh, just like I did I, again, it could be me. I uh, just seen that the screen moved a little faster, so it uh, could be me. I don't know, but let's see. I'm going to actually go to my door here, and we'll switch it around and go to my door. And connected, connected, no problem. Wonderful, ASI 7 bb great. So now, let's go to Front door. I don't know if you can see me with the camera, and I don't even know if my mic's working, but um, check the ASI Air app. That will go in. Connected. No problem at the door. That's interesting. All right, so we're going to go back out of the air again. I'm going to go inside the house. So what we're going to do is, oh, hold on. It, oh, is it connected from inside the house? It just took a little bit longer. I'm wondering if I could do it from my Let's see. Asper, hi, Asper. Let's see, we we'll exit by the app again. And we're gonna exit by the app again. Let's do that again. And then I'm in my studio room, which is inside the house, but directly across from the, the pier. Let's see if we could log into it from here. Wow. Wow. So I'm able to access the ASI Air wirelessly from my pier to my studio room. Um, the interesting is, is that I was able to connect wirelessly from the ASI Air Plus into the uh, studio room, which is, um, it's believe it or not, right out on the other side of that window right there on the right, but um, I was able to access to it. So I cannot access the ASI Air Plus through that wall. So slight edge to the ASI Air Mini on the Wi-Fi. So let's go back inside. And by the way, say hello to the guys taking away my Northern Horizon right there. You see that? What a load of crap. So remember, 90% of astrophotography is half mental. 
So do yourself a favor and do it. What I would do is spend the extra hundred bucks, get the ASI Air Plus. So you have the 3.0 USB ports and on off switch uh, SD socket in order for you to expand your storage capacity. Uh, there's a couple of things that are worth the extra hundred dollars in there, even though that the Wi-Fi seems, and that's just based on what I've done, seems uh, to be a little bit less powerful than the Mini. It's really not a make it or break it for me. Like I said, I use my interior, uh, my household Wi-Fi when I'm at home on the pier or when I'm at in the field, I use a, uh, a Wi-Fi hotspot that I strap to the leg of my, uh, my tripod. So that being said, I would put uh, definitely hands up on the plus over the mini, but the mini is also good for people that are just trying to jump in, just trying to get into it and see if they actually have it and don't want to put the $300 investment on an ASIR plus. So that being said, we like to educate, we like to help people and we also get ourselves educated by doing these videos. And if you do like these videos, please remember to subscribe, like, meet us on Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, we have a Discord channel. You can come on there as well and join us on there. There's a lot of good people. We have over 100 people on there. So that's that's a nice venue for information there. So please subscribe, please like, and thank you so much for watching. And remember, as always, keep imaging, keep educating, and clear skies. And we'll see you on our next video. Thank you for watching.